Hello friends, this video on neat reproduction is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us discuss the various types of syngamy. So uh, let's quickly recap what is syngamy. It is nothing but the fusion of male and female gametes to form the zygote. So basically it is the fertilization process like when the male gamete and the female gamete like in case of human beings the egg and the sperm they fuse together to form the single celled zygote and then the zygote undergoes repeated mitotic division to finally form the embryo so this fusion of male and female gametes is called syngamy now gamy means uh, union of two things so here it is the union of the two gametes so it is syngamy now there are many different types of syngamy like endogamy, exogamy, isogamy, anisogamy, oogamy and hologamy. So these are the six types of syngamy. So let us talk about each of these types of syngamy in more detail. So we start with endogamy. So what's endogamy? It is the fusion of male and female gametes of the same parent. So endo, normally the term endo means within or inside. So it's like within the same parent, you have the male gamete and you also have the female gamete and they both fuse together to form a new organism. So the fusion is happening within one single parent. So that is endogamy. Now it is quite obvious that this type of syngamy is possible only in case of bisexual organisms because bisexual organisms are the only ones which have both male and female reproductive system in the same animal. For example, in case of human beings, human beings are unisexual. So they either have the male reproductive part or the female reproductive part. But there are a lot of organisms which are bisexual. They have the male and the female reproductive part in the same organism. So this endogamy is possible only in case of bisexual organisms and this is also known as self-fertilization because here the fertilization is happening within the cell, within the same parent. So it is self-fertilization. So one example where syngamy happens is tapeworm. Now let us move on to the next type which is exogamy. So exogamy is fusion of male and female gametes of different parents. So exo is external. That means you have the, the, the other gamete comes from external. So basically two parents are involved. So it is called cross fertilization of course because it is not happening within the self. Right. So here the examples could be anything amphibians, reptiles, birds, mammals. So all of these could be examples of all of these show exogamy. Next is isogamy. So in isogamy there is fusion of morphologically similar but maybe physiologically different gametes. So iso, the word iso often means same. So here the two gametes are morphologically that is structurally they are similar and these type of gametes are known as isogametes. That means gametes which are morphologically similar, physiologically also they might be similar, they might not be similar. So example is Chlamydomonas uh, which is an algae and monocystic which is a protozoa and here in these organisms you get to see isogamy. So here on the screen you see the picture of uh, Chlamydomonas. Now when you look at its gametes, so you see on the screen, so here it shows different types of gametes which are possible in case of Chlamydomonas. Like in the first case you see that both the male and the female gametes are motile. In the second case what you see they are not non-motile. Right? And in the third case, third case is an example of conjugation. It is not an example of isogamy. But yes, the first two cases they are examples of isogamy where both the gametes are morphologically identical. Moving on to the next type which is an isogamy. So obviously it is just the opposite of isogamy. So here the gametes are of different shape, size, structure and behavior. So structurally also they are not similar. So these type of gametes are called anisogametes or they are also known as heterogametes. And where do we see this anisogamy? Anisogamy is generally seen in higher invertebrates and also in all the vertebrates. 
So as I said, it is since this is hetero means different. So here since the gametes are different, so this is also known as heterogamy. So heterogamy and anisogamy are basically the same thing. So let us take this example here. So here if you look at the first one, A, what do you see? That both the gametes are motile, that is they are capable of moving. But if you look at their size, one is bigger and the other one is smaller. So the sizes are different. So this is an example of an isogamy. In the second case, again, you see the, this gamete is bigger, this is smaller. One is motile, the other one is non-motile. So structurally as well as behavior wise also they are different. Like one can move, the other one cannot move. In the third case, again, if you see here, both of them are non-motile. Right? So this, this shows an isogamy of non-motile gametes. First one shows isogamy of uh, an isogamy of motile gametes, and this shows isogamy of motile and non-motile gametes. So whether they are different structurally or they are different behavior-wise, so they would be termed as an isogametes. In fact, if you take the example of human, there also if you look at the sperm. The sperm is smaller in size when compared to the ovum. But at the same time, the sperm is capable of moving, but the ovum cannot move. So they are also structurally different. Behavior-wise also they are different. So that is also an example of an isogamy. Moving on to the next one, which is oogamy. So oogamy is also a type of an isogamy. So you can say that it is a form of an isogamy because here also the two gametes are different from each other. But oogamy is a special form of an isogamy where the fusion happens between a large non-motile female gamete with a small motile male gamete. So here you have specification that the male gamete should be smaller in size but motile and the female gamete should be larger in size but non-motile. So only if fusion is happening between these two types of gametes, it is called oogamete. But basically here also the male and the female gametes are structurally and behavior wise different. So this is also a kind of an isogamy. So this is predominantly seen in animals. So here we can consider the example of human beings. In human beings, the egg is bigger in size, which is the female gamete. So if you look at human beings here, egg is big in size, the sperm is smaller in size, but the egg is non-motile, whereas the sperm is motile. So that way it satisfies the condition for oogamy and therefore this is an example of oogamy. So the female gamete in this case is for example in human beings the female gamete is the egg or ovum whatever you call it and the male gamete is the anthrozoid. In general this is called anthrozoid in human beings the male gamete is the sperm. And finally the last type of syngamy which is hologamy. So what is hologamy? So this is basically fusion of two organisms. So the organism itself is behaving like gametes. So there is no concept of producing male female gametes. The organism itself is a gamete. So the organisms will only fuse together to form a new organism and that is hologamy. And it is seen in yeast. So if you look at this picture, it is trying to show that this is one yeast, this is another yeast. So these are the two parents and the two parents, they themselves fuse together to form a new organism. Right? So the new organism which is formed is a blend of the two parents. So here the organisms themselves behave like gametes. So that is called hologamy. Why hologamy? So from the term hollow, you can remember hollow is like whole of it. So whole of the organism is fusing with the other organism. Since whole of the organisms fuse together, it is called hologamy. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.